So come on in and tell us what's going on for you. Uh, should I just tell you about this year? What, what sort of history would you like? Uh, Okay. Because there's been plenty to tell you for this You've year. You've got, oh, whoa, yeah. okay. But you have a train to catch. No, I know, I know. <laughs> so, okay. So here's what I'd like you to do. Um, first of all, tell me your major issue, what's bothering you right now. Uh -huh. And then we'll go through your history, um, you know, kind of medical history, both the last year. But no, I'm actually interested in your whole medical history. Right. Okay. So right. seeing how much you can do it in bullet form and condensed. Okay, bullet form. Um, my current um, acute issue is sciatica on my right side. Okay. Um, I have quite chronic asthma and which flares up um, and particularly I did a marathon yesterday so I probably have a horrible, horrible rasping cough for about a month now. Things and like yet that. you and doesn't deter you from running at all? No. Um, <laughs> No, and the sciatica thing started three years ago uh -huh. when I started to begin to have kind of neural issues on my right side. Um, every year from the end of July for about three months. And um, I didn't make the connection until this year that it happened a third time. And I thought, oh, maybe this is all connected. Wait, because you'd had for three years from July to the what first, was? The first year um, I was up in... Glasgow Commonwealth Games and um, the top of my right leg went completely numb and, and sort of dead and I was kind of having to go along like this actually doing it from here and that lasted for about two months and the next year it was the bottom of my right leg. So you'd get n episodes of numbness in different parts of the leg? Numbness and some little shooting sort of neural type pain Okay. Um, and this year um, it was the hamstrings at the back of my right leg and then it went into um, sort of glutes and into lower back. And for that, I've seen a chiropractor. I also have Twina every Friday uh -huh. in London. Uh -huh. And um, I see Errol every Friday. But the other thing I should tell you is that I've had a bad reaction to acupuncture in the past, which I haven't had for a while oh. now. And it's been a question of um, electroacupuncture. Okay. And it's been only, only in my calves, but I've had like such a, a jolt, such a shock that both times it's happened, the person thought it was their equipment, and it, well, it was definitely me, it was definitely, <laughs> you know, but it was such a sustained jolt, it yeah. lasted for like 30 seconds. Okay, no, no worries, no, no like electric. And for a week, and it was really horrible. Okay. But other than that, um, I have had acupuncture before. So where is the sciatica now? Um, the thing is, I've sort of, it's not as bad as it was, and that might sound ridiculous after yesterday, but... It's okay. Um, this um, sort of, um, I'd say medial hamstring, and... Okay. Glutes max. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then and there's the asthma. Yeah. And what's the rest of the history? Right. <laughs> the recent history is that I had a hernia surgery at New Year, oh. and that which was not, not something I would have I would have elected to have. It was like a femoral hernia right here, uh -huh. but um, I was kind of forced into surgery because they thought it was some sort of lymphoma. So so therefore I had to go in, and um, so it turned out to be a, a hernia. Mm -hmm. And um, so I had obviously quite invasive surgeries, a massive scar because they thought I was harvesting much more stuff. Yeah. And um, had general anaesthetic and stuff like that, all that goes with that. Um, so there was that. And then uh, we were having quite a hurricane, um, in, I think it was March. And uh, my job, I, I work with teenagers, and I was carrying like loads of bowls of, you know, bags of bowls and stuff down the road. And I got blown into the side of a tree. And anyway, I cracked my left ankle bone. And it went up to like the size of a football, you know. And um, again, Tweena brought that down after about two sessions. It was, it mm -hmm. was back to normal Good. size. Um, but then I was helping a, a colleague um, with a PhD. He was doing it to lower back strength. I'm sure you can imagine where this one's going. And um, I, was in a, <laughs> I was in a gym with a really sort of slanty kind of piece of equipment. I don't usually do this kind of thing. And so I was having to, you know, sort of basically lean almost all of you off the end of this thing, you know, see how long you could do it. And that was all going very well. But when I jumped back off it, I was like, you know, a gymnast in the Olympics sort of thing. But I hadn't seen a big protruding um, piece of metal. And I cracked two ribs. I actually broke two ribs, apparently. So that's only just coming around now. And that was in May, you know, because it took a long time to, mm -hmm. to heal up. Okay. Um, that's just... As I said, like this year's okay. Uh, from since childhood, any major diseases? No. Okay. No. I, it sounds like you've never been hospitalized except for the hernia. Uh, no, I haven't. No. Okay. I've had a cesarean section, but that was um, you know, eighteen years ago. Okay. Um, and do you use an inhaler? 
Yes. Okay. On a regular basis, or you oh, just yeah. keep it? Oh, okay. So yeah. your asthma is a big issue. I've got different ones with colored inhalers. Different colored yes. inhalers for oh, different kinds of times of day? Or major. What? Well, I've got one, I don't even know what half this stuff is about, but I've got one sort of preventer, one kind of like supposedly emergency one, but I use it all the time. And, um, and one other, uh, you know, this purple one, it's an older people's one or something. Because <laughs> I've been recently got given that one. <laughs> so I've got that. Okay. So, so uh, w would you say that in the more you know, you get up in the morning and and you you, you use the inhaler as a, oh, the preventive one? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, in you, when your experience, when you have an asthma attack, do you find that it's harder for you to you know? Do you feel like you're you're <sighs> inhaling or <sighs> exhaling? Uh, exhaling, I would say. And I've, I've got it very, very controlled, so I think I just breathe in a more shallow way, and so I don't really have those kind of gasping type episodes. Uh -huh. And what I really find the worst is that after a big exertion, like yesterday when I did the marathon, um, and I always do that in a very controlled fashion as well, because I don't want to, you know, obviously have an attack in the middle of it. Um, so after I finished that, um, I think April this year, London Marathon was the first time I haven't come down with like a serious lurgy, because you're so depleted and you get kind yeah. of an immune sort of slump as well, and you know. Uh, you go on public transport and all the rest and you instantly get every logie going. But I always come down with a really, really horrible chest infection and I just, you know, I'd love to find a way out of that. Okay. All right, let's... So did you break your foot after the London Marathon? Um, I, I just cracked my ankle bone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just after. And oh, running on it that. this it time was, was okay? The was the end of April. Okay. Hmm? But you ran on it and it was okay? Uh, well, like, yeah, within like maybe say a week or something. But it was quite painful to start off. Yeah, but you know. this weekend when you ran, well, yesterday when yesterday, you ran, the oh, ankle oh, was yeah, okay. Was fine, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> All right, let's so put you your face else. up. This is for your knees. Oh, yeah. This is for your head. This is for your knees. Come down slightly. Oh, okay, good. All right. So two things, you know, just from her body. She's most likely liver type. It's hard to tell because she's a thin person, right? But <laughs> it's okay. Um, but, you know, the legs are, you know, yes, she's a runner. But, you know, do, do you see how she's kind of roundy-ish here? You know, so she's po possibly a liver type that's never, um, that it, it's not allowed to express because... You know, she's burning a lot of calories, you know. She's not going to accumulate fat, you know, like, like the other type, you know, the regular liver type, okay? Um, and the other thing, she's very, very long torsoed, you know, which may... Um, does your chiropractor, who, you know, that you go to, the, does, does he say any diagnosis or anything? Uh, not really, and I've only recently gone because um, someone I work with, um, a park run, recommended him for sciatica. Okay. He doesn't say anything. He didn't take, no, no x-rays, no nothing? Oh, no. no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if she has, uh, you know, more than five lumbar vertebrae. So, you know, because, because she's just so long, you know, the, the way she's built. So, um, the other thing is, do you see how the thighs are not even? Okay. Any gynecological problems? No. Uh, no. Okay. Are you still menstruating? No. No. When did you when when did you go into menopause? I think it was probably about five years ago. Oh, okay. Is that better? is that yeah. easier? Okay. Mm. Five years ago. Okay. Right. And you were regular? Yeah. No problems. No. Okay. Not because you were on a pill. No you were... pain or anything. Or nothing unusual at all ever, really. Okay. I think it was quite lucky. All right. So, when I oh, okay. You know, oh. No, I just wasn't ready for that. So. Oh, okay. All right, all right. So when I push here, you just feel my fingers? Yeah. All right. When I, if I push anywhere else and it feels different, let me know. Yeah. Hi. No. 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 Okay. When 12, 15, a little bit. Well, there, I just almost felt like you were catching something very, on the very edge, though. Okay, so it feel, still feel, each yeah, time yeah. I do yes. it, I'm catching yeah, yeah. something yeah. on the very edge. Okay. Compare for me left side and right side. Yeah, something. Um, you're smirking. No, just right side, it seemed like you got further in with your fingers. It feels like I got further in. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's more similar now. Oh, 
still. No, there's some, there's some. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we, we we need to work this one oh. out. Okay. How about anything here? Okay. Now the bronchies. One, two, three. Anything? No. One, two, three. No. How about here? This, it sounds like there's something there. It's a the little way you, bit sensitive okay. right there. Okay, a little yeah. sensitive counts. Okay. Okay. And not really so much okay. on that so side. Okay, so a little sensitive yeah, this side. Much, okay. okay. Mm. Anything on Ren 17? Well, that spot didn't feel good. That that spot does now. not feel no. okay. So, all right. So up to now, what we found in the belly is weird. Yeah. Catching or something doesn't feel good. No. And slight. Sensitive there, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. One, two, three. Okay. No. One, two, three. No. No. Scalings. One, two, three. Nothing here? No. Okay. One, two, three. No. No. Okay. It's every time it's so borderline, I always want to say, yeah, there is something, but I don't think there is. One, two, three. The first one, it feels slightly. The first one, slightly. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. that's fair. And one, two, three, four, five. No. Okay. Cervicals on the left of spine, and the right, two, three, four, five. No. No. All right. So. Something mm -hmm. and something yeah. and uncomfortable and it catches that, that something. That last one, the catching one, I don't think so anymore. You don't think so? No. Okay. And yeah. Yeah. All right. Any? Oops. Okay. Let, okay. Let's make sure you're used to it. Okay. Yeah. There's something here. Yeah. And here also. Yeah. Okay. All right. And the sciatica is here. Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Okay, when I press, does it produce something uncomfortable? One, two, three. Not a, a huge amount at the moment, no, but it's very... But something. It's because of yesterday's pythons, everything is not very really defended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hasn't really come out yet, you know. Okay. So I'm not but my question is, when I press, mm -hmm. even... Okay, compare. One, two, three. If this is different, mm -hmm. it means something's there. One, two, three. I'm not really feeling a difference. Okay. I'm not. Okay, so I can't. No, 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 it's fine. Yeah. So I'm just trying to see if I can mm -hmm. produce. Can you produce pain right now? Is there a movement that you know reliably produces the sciatic pain? Um, not really, because I would have to do something like put that over across there and do something like this. Okay, so. And be, okay, so you can produce it. Producing from here into the leg more. Okay, than just but you can. Pro okay. Yes, yes. Can you do that for a second yeah, for yeah. me? Yeah, I'm really only getting it in the hip, though. Okay. I'm not really getting it in the it's leg. whatever you're getting. Okay, so yeah. that that's your baseline, and mm. then I'm going to ask you after I, you know, I'll, I'm going to ask you to do it again and again and see if it gets better. Okay. See, so because if I can press, mm -hmm. or see, I can't produce it with pressure, so I need you right. to produce it with movement, so I know if right. I'm affecting mm -hmm. it. Okay. I so, think you were really close to it, just there, though. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Right okay, there. that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, we got something. <laughs> Any pain here? No. All right. Um, here, I'm just checking fire no. points. No. And here? No. Okay. All right. The other thing is that the color, the skin is, um, you know, the skin's not well nourished in a way. And, and you know, she, you, you get bruised easily? Actually, that was from between now and Saturday. Oh. <laughs> I know it's, it's not funny. But, but does it happen often? No. Okay. No. That was unusual because I was here in New York and I had someone I don't usually have. Yeah. Because her, you know, if, can, can you see how her veins are very uh, out? You know, they're very close to the skin. So, you know, you can think, you know, is there, is there a spleen issue? And she does have a sticking bunion. Gosh. Don't you? I don't know. Yeah, don't worry. Maybe something else. <laughs> there's, there's always something sticking somewhere. <laughs> so, all right. Now, can you take a deep breath for me? And out. 
and again, and out. Okay, I'm not hearing any, anything in the, in the breath. You know, so, no, so, so I can't shake. So I have to trust what she says, that it's mostly the exhalation. Right. Okay. Um, because some people, you know, they can feel it in exhalation, but you will feel it differently, etc. So, you know. Um, so, pulse. I'm going to take the watch off. If you don't mind. And of course, she has a very slow pulse. <laughs> we expected that. Do you know what your blood pressure is? I don't know exactly what it is, but it's the, it's the lower one. Slightly it's lower on, on than lower. average or something. Okay. It's, um, it's a little bit on the pounding side, actually, her pulse. So I can't quite say, it's not, a, it's, once I press it in, it, it, it this actually disappears, um, but it, this, it's a little bit too strong for what I would call a tight pulse, and you, your hands are sweating. Oh. Okay, no, no. Well, the other so thing about she... the pulse is mm -hmm. um, that I never have caffeine in normal life or sugar, uh -huh. and um, of course, on the day of the marathon, I have a complete rocket of both. Ah. So that makes a difference to my pulse, and it does. It takes a couple of days to come back down. Got you. Actually, you know. So every marathon you have coffee and sugar on the day? Oh, yeah. To feed you? It's just a so. performance thing, totally. Okay, fine, got you, yeah. got you, got you, got you. Okay. Yes. All right. So, you had here. Yeah. You had a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And this is the big discount. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. the real one. Okay. All right. Let's see if spleen four. I'm sorry. How is now? Um, it feels less here. If yeah, forget the foot. Yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. always using set pressure. But how much different, how much better is this? A lot. A lot different. better. Okay. Yeah. How about this guy? No. Okay. I'm pressing on the foot, mm. and you do that, you know, you cross over and, you know what I mean? Yeah, actually, you can do better see. with your finger though that time. Oh, 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 oh okay. Okay, that that's fine. Spot. That's perfectly yeah. good, in which case. So here, right? Yes. Okay. Let me make sure I can get it with this hand. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Okay. Spleen four. Yeah. How's now? Um, hugely reduced. Hugely reduced. Off. Okay, yeah. great. All right. What's the theory of spleen four there? Spleen four, okay. Inhalation goes into the kidney, right? <clears throat> Exhalation comes from the chong. The chong rushes, you know, you know, it dashes out, okay? So the, it's just a phrase that exists in Chinese medicine. So because her asthma is chong-like asthma, not, otherwise it will be kidney three, okay? So because of, you know, I, I, that's why spleen four. And by the way, she also, remember you had here yeah. and here, yeah. okay. How is now? Well, that's a lot easier as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking, you know, she's coming for sciatica, but look, I was going to say the poor woman. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is someone who has, you know, it's like the last thing you'd think this, you know, she would do is run marathons, but she's like totally into, you know, like this is your life is mar running marathon, it sounds like, right? Well, I do. You love it. Yeah, I do love it, yeah. Yeah. It's like this is her way of, you know, it's like, it's, it's in some ways contradictory. On the other hand, it might be the way you're controlling the, you know, you might be making the asthma a lot better by actually pushing mm. the body like mm. this. But it's a major push. You know, it, it's not so easy to, you know. But so her, the very first injury to her, for, to her body is the asthma. Nothing to do with, with the sciatica. If I make the asthma better and the body can move, you know, the, the lungs are moving better, Whatever else she has is going to get better, right? So, so that's why you know spleen four is so important. Okay, and you remember I told you the pulse is pounding. 
Okay, remember, splint 3, if somebody has chest problems, splint 3 you can only use if the pulse is small and weak. And splint 4 you can use if the pulse is big. And if they have chest problems, do not confuse the two. Be very careful with that. Are you okay? Yeah. You are not so happy with that needle. No, sounded. I'm fine with that. Yeah, you yeah. Are, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. There's no electricity. No. <laughs> so, Ravi, did you mean then that if, if this lady's pulse was weak, then you'd use spleen 3? No, no, but I'm just saying I can't use spleen 4 if she had a really tiny pulse because she could suddenly on the table not feel good and, or have pressure on the chest. Point for the charm, then, which, sorry, so I would, yeah, it would be a problem, you know, like I would have to figure out what, what am I going to do, but spleen 4 is not a good point with someone with a weak pulse. Any discomfort? No. Here? No. Okay. Uh, it's just that her navicular is kind of odd. It's sticking out on this side. Okay, it's okay. So my first priority is to treat the asthma and then see what else is happening. Now, she doesn't have a lot of chest stuff to, to, you know, like she's not showing bronchial reflex. Now, she could be showing stuff on the back, by the way, but... Hmm? Oh. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. You have a little bit here, oh, right? Oh, yeah. And how's this guy now? It's less. It's by less. how much is left? I mean, it's like, oh... It's like a two compared it's to like a two. Okay. Oh, before. I didn't have to, have to train you in the numbers. You're good. I like that. Okay. How's from two to? Right. So I can hardly feel that now. It's okay. So it's almost a zero. Like okay. That. And how's this guy? It's gone down quite a bit. Okay. And this one's still there, right? Yeah, but it feels less. Okay. Cool. So lung five. Lung 5 is always for asthma. The question is whether it's going to have kidney 3 or 4 for inhalation or spleen 4 for exhalation. That's the difference. Always lung 5 for asthma and exhalation is spleen 4, inhalation is kidney 3, but it's really kidney 4. We're using kidney 4 towards the heel. All right. Anything here? To, yes, this guy's that a little one. bit, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, because uh, I want to add immune because of asthma, okay. How's now? The neck? It's, it's a lot less. A lot less. less. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. And let's do the other side. So I don't have much to check the lung five against. So relax. Anything here? Yes. Yes. Okay. <coughs> How's now? It's still the same. Still the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me turn the hand over. So it's a little bit less. A little bit mm -hmm. less. Okay. I I'll still do trochanter, but and now? That feels a good bit less. Uh, which one did a better job? Um, this one? That one, yeah. Or this? No, the first, the, the first one. Two. Oh, okay, yeah. good. So I'm just checking lung five a little bit above, a little bit below. But the main one for this one is ultimately going to be... Sorry, but... Yeah, pain yeah. here? Well, yeah, a bit, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, sorry. I didn't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> How's the top now? Um, it's, it's not really changed from what you're doing currently. Okay. Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's a lot less. That's a lot less. Yeah. On the back, it was immune. Were you doing? On Sorry. What were you testing against on the shoulder? Ah, uh, UB thirteen area. Okay. Because I didn't have. If I had kidney line, I would check check, check it against the kidney line, but I didn't. Can you check it? With How are we doing? Yes, it's less. Okay. I still feel it, but it's yeah, less. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. well, on the back, we'll, we'll do more. Yeah. 
And I'm sorry? Could you test it also against lung one? Yeah, but she didn't have lung one on this side. She only had lung one on the uh, left side. Yeah. So relax totally. Okay, so now that I'm, you know, I can't say I, I have addressed the asthma 100% yet or whatever, but I know I've done everything, you know, enough for the asthma. My question is, now you do have a needle here at main. Oh, I, you said my pressure was, was the best. Yes. It was the better test, okay. Where are we at? Um, we're probably about a four. A four a from a ten from a ten to a four. No, or, what did you, where did you start? I'd say about an eight. From an okay. Mm. So I prefer if we start at a ten. Okay. Each each point has its own oh, ten. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. So let me see what I can extract further. Okay. So first of all, how's this guy? Is he gone? Um, yeah. Yeah. He is. Yeah. Okay. But I might still consider a liver option. But oh, and you have here is okay now. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. So, here, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. You thought more slightly found it. Up okay. Yeah. How about now? Okay, as well, it's much, much less now. Much, much less. Yeah. Okay. For, sciat for liver type person with sci and sciatica and shows inguinal, okay, I know it's like a lot of conditions, liver 3, gallbladder 41. Okay, this is, you know, just, the, it's one of those kawaii things. It's, it's like the stomach 41, spleen, spleen uh, 5. It's the same deal. So. For sciatica? Or? It's specifically for sciatica, but it works best for sciatica when they happen to be a liver type yeah. and they happen to have the inguinal thing. She happens to be like a typical... Um, you know, a, a textbook case for, for this treatment. Now, notice that we're basically, um, okay, do you see this? She's hammer toed. Okay, now I know you're gonna say, I didn't know that. <laughs> so, and hold on, hold on one second, let me just recheck this. Yeah, I mean, that's either gone or you're not finding it. It's just okay, I'll, I'll, I'll search around. Yeah. Go. Oh, okay. It's, yeah, it's still... It. The, yeah. Okay. It, how, how much is going on at this it's point? It's about a four at the minute. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, it's less. Okay, how much? Maybe a two. Okay, a two. All right. Um... Eileen, is the next person going to come down, or because I'm just assume, I'm going to assume that they'll okay. Oh, we have to bring them. Okay, okay. Sorry. I think your thing was was further down before. Okay, let me find it because yeah. because I, I believe oh, I haven't moved. But no, 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 no. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's just slightly slightly further than that. If it's still there. Further meaning further yeah, out? Slightly, um, towards you, towards yeah. the centre. Yeah, I think it's maybe gone down quite a bit. Yeah, it's, it's, it's much reduced from what it was. Okay, there's something? Yeah. There okay, is, yeah. so this is the place I'm testing. I just want to know... Oh, sorry. Well, how is it now? Um, from just two seconds ago. Forget the food. Okay, yeah, that's all, all I care is this. Right. I don't care how much you feel. Right. In, okay. Right. The reason I'm testing Dre is because since she, um, I'm looking at what I'm doing and I'm not going, oh, they're all on this kind of line on the top of the Dre. You know, she's on a shoe stream line right now, even though she, it's spleen four is not on the is not a shoe stream point. But she's kind, you know, and she has the hammer toe. I'm wondering if what what mileage can I get from um, from from a joy point? So I tried liver because she has liver, but I could try gallbladder also. But hold on one second, let me see if because of the hammer toe, liver that means tendons. Let me try liver eight. Yeah. Buttocks is better. Yeah. Oh, okay. So.
Okay. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Would you like to have something on you for, for cold? You're doing. Okay. Any questions? Would you think the slow pulse led to you know, there being a lack of, of a strong... Yeah, the fact that she has slow pulse may be the reason why I can't find much. So I'm, I have to treat what I find. Not sure if slow pulse is what's preventing this. I think what's what's preventing her showing here, she, she's like a Amazon woman. <laughs> you know, those, that type does not, you know, um, they show less because they, they, you know, it's like, it's just the nature of, of the person. I don't, it's not, the slow pulse can say why, you know, why we're not finding huge amounts on the abdomen. But part of it, look, if she's a runner, the tissue is always being moved anyway. The fascia is constantly being moved. It's not likely to show as much also. So, uh, there's a chance, we'll, we'll see what we find in the back. This is stage one. Stage two comes in a moment. Well, I'm just thinking about the patient's gets where they're where you press everywhere and you, it's, it's sort of where it is nothing. You can't find anything even though they do still present with... with yeah, stuff. yeah. And, um, I'd, you know, and given what she does, it's, I mean, even, even if my, in my fingers I'm not finding either, you know, so it's not like, sometimes there is a big discrepancy with a person like that, you know, the, the I can run 70 miles, you know, blah, 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 you know, the kind of thing. Um, you feel on your fingers, you're going, wow, you know, don't you feel this? And they say, no. <laughs> and they're being honest. <laughs> that, because they, they just have a different um, relationship in the body than the regular person. So, you know, we work with what we can rather than what, you know, with what, we, you know, what there is, you know, it's a be nice to invent something. <laughs> so, all right. Come on in. Sleeplessness. Sleeplessness. I suppose is the correct term. Okay. Uh, how long for? Um, it comes in spells, I would say, maybe lasting a couple of months, and then I seem to be okay. Uh huh. But when did you know? Did, was it like that when you were a child, teenager, twenties? I mean, when when um, did it originally? Well, I'm sixty nine now, so I'm guessing from about maybe about the fifties onwards. Your fifties. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Could it be 1950s? <laughs> so, oh, just asking. All right. Um, and right now you're in a bout of insomnia or in a bout of where yeah, everything's cool? Yeah, I tend to get cool. to sleep fine. Then maybe uh -huh. 2 a.m. Oh. or 4 a.m. I'll wake up and okay. sometimes I get up and I'll have a piece of toast and then get up again fine. Or sometimes I'm just lying there and not particularly well, getting off. Okay, wait a second. So you, you go to sleep at what time, generally? Uh, 9 to 10 p.m. 9 to 10? Yes. And then you wake up at around 2? It tends to be 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock. 2 o'clock to no 4 o'clock. Really. Okay. And then um, the way you go back to sleep is taking a toast pill. <laughs> Sometimes. Um, my sister does... Probably, I can't remember the name now, but one of these Chinese things, and I do the, um, there's a particular floor, I can't remember the name of it now. But that's a particular that what? A floor that's supposed to help um, one of the organs, but I can't remember. Floor? Floor. Oh, floor. Oh, oh, you do some sort of meditation? Yes. Okay, got you, got you. Okay, got you. <laughs> particular floor. <laughs> it's the accent. Yes, yes, absolutely. It's very well on the accent. It's my ears. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's say you woke up somewhere between two and four, and yeah. then, you know, and say, so do you fall back to sleep at some point or not? Um, or that's kind of the end of it? My mind seems to start working. Okay. And it's not necessarily something I'm particularly worried about deeply. It's just, just yeah, yeah, it starts working. Just, and if I'm not, you can't turn it off. In ten minutes, then as you say, I can't turn it off, and I tend to lie there for an hour or so. Oh, so if you, okay, it's and after an hour, you you can fall back to sleep. I usually get back to sleep eventually. Okay. Exactly how long? I don't. You don't know. Okay, because you don't. Clock. Okay, got gotcha. you. Okay, fair enough. Um, anything else in your medical history in your life worth mentioning? Um, technically, I have epilepsy, temporal lobe epilepsy, but okay. I've not been troubled since I crashed the car on its roof in about 1998. 
<laughs> okay. Um, so you've had no no seizures? No, no. Since? no okay. I've never just had that problem, fortunately. Okay. Um, anything else? Mother, father, grandparents, anything in their history? Not specifically as I can think of. Okay. Do you tend to be a, um, someone who uh, worries about things? I would say so, yeah. Okay. I call it planning. Hmm? I call it you call planning. it planning, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you plan a lot. <laughs> okay. All right. Did you have any questions yeah. for him? Yes. Did you take medication for epilepsy? No. Did you say no? no. I did originally, obviously. But okay. I dropped it at least five years ago. Thank you. Do you have any other questions for him? No. They want me to be on statins, but I was found to be statin intolerant. Because you have high cholesterol? Um, Yes, I've gone up to nine at one stage, but I used to be perfectly normal. So it's hard. Well, we all used to be perfectly normal. <laughs> <laughs> Over time, we kind of like deteriorated. <laughs> okay, so so they say you have high cholesterol, basically. Yes. Okay. All right. Heads here, face up, and this is for your knees. Thank you. Very interesting feet. Mm. One's been operated, one hasn't. Okay. Um, there was a bit in my life when I was a child. Mm? The, the fat pads apparently aren't in the right place. So the what to, isn't in the right the place? The fat pads on the ball of the feet apparently this. aren't in the right place, I was told. So I walked on the outside edge of my feet. Relax. I splayed my knees and uh, had to have new knee joints because of that. New knee joints? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I saw, okay. It's very interesting how people forget to mention that <laughs> in the medical history. To <laughs> too much to mention. <laughs> that, wasn't that a major event? Yes, but... Yeah, um, maybe. <laughs> okay. How long ago The knee joints, probably about 10 years. Okay. Any pain anywhere? No. No, when I'm pressing, not... not I, I... No, nothing really. Okay, I'm just checking. Do they bother you now? Is it sort of painful generally, the knees after the operation? No. The, the left knee's swollen a little bit because he he's didn't quite set it right. But, uh, yeah, it, it is much more swollen. Yeah. yeah. But I've never really had a great problem with that. I did pull the kneecap apart on the left knee. Uh, well, Parking up the hill in Scotland. By the way. <laughs> People like to live dangerously, don't they? <laughs> Did your feet give you pain? Um, I find, well, I used to read that leather soles were best, or so leather, which of course now and all the fat pads went to the right place, was the worst thing. So once I found Teva flip flops, they're the right combination of give on the um, bald foot and support for my high arches. Oh. So the, the walking shoes I use, I've cut down some Tevas to use as insoles because all the custom made insoles, frankly, didn't work. Gotcha. So he has, a, he has actually, well, his pulse isn't slow, but he has a very similar quality to hers. Um, it, you, you can still call it tight pulse, except it, it, there's a little bit of a poundingness to it. Okay. Um, do you know what your blood pressure is? Normal, apparently. But I don't know what normal is. <laughs> yeah, um, unfortunately, low blood type, low blood pressure type, is often does not know that they have it because they go to the doctor and they say, "Oh, that's good," but they no nobody gives them the numbers. So you know, there's a possibility. But you know, he his pulse is a little bit more typical ANS. Um, but all right, uh, is. It might be wrong, but do you mind me saying that you've done enormous amounts of cycling? It's enormous. Sorry, I couldn't hear that. You, you've done a lot, a lot of a cycling. Lot of yes. Oh, yes. Very many years. It will, I think, before someone gets Yeah. Okay. Um, the pain in the foot would be where? Is this painful? It's, it was across okay. the balls of the foot, basically. Okay. But this is not painful. Nope. And this side? Because nope. his kidney, too, is to very congested. So that's why. Okay. Any pain when I press anywhere? No. No. Okay. So it's this part that okay. All right. I'm gonna poke belly. 
<laughs> Can I I'll just um, loosen that because it's okay. Good. All right. When I poke here, you just feel my fingers, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you feel something different, let me know. Right. So, okay. So, lots of cycling and marathon runner. Okay, no wonder they have similar pulses. <laughs> Anything here? No. no. I, th okay. Does this feel the same as this? No, that's firmer. This is firm, okay. So you're calling firmer, okay. Mm. I'm calling, I, um, this is your baseline, so anything that doesn't feel like this, it shows something. Okay. okay. So stomach 26, 27. How about 4 o'clock? No. 8 o'clock? No. Ren 9? No. Ren 12? No. Is it pain we're looking for? Sorry? Is it pain? I'm looking for different oh, right. than this. Those were a little bit less, okay. more, uh, the more squashy. Okay, this is squashy? Yeah. Okay, how about this one? About the same. Okay, squashy and squashy. Okay, how about 17? Seems. Okay, no, no issue. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about firm, don't right, worry sorry. about if, you know, like, does it feel, you know, it can be like annoying or, you know, like, you know, mild, but it, it doesn't have, if you, I use the word pain, it's a little bit difficult right. to, okay. okay. Okay, so, but you don't, you don't, you don't care that I press here. No, no. But when I press here, it feels a little squashy. Yeah. Okay. Compare for me left side and right side. Can't tell the difference. Okay. And here on the left, and here on... Yeah, there's something tight on the right. No, Is that? Okay. I'm, I'm, no, I'm asking if you feel it. Oh, right, sorry. Not Boom. particularly. I've got an aortic aneurysm. That's, <laughs> That's the squat. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a while for these things to, to occur to me. <laughs> but it's only three centimetres, or three whatevers. <laughs> uh, one millimeter is an uh, wait, wait, wait. no 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 aortic aneurysm, but it hasn't burst or no, it, but, but, no but 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 they mean that the the um, that the vessel is weak and is kind of like overstretched. Yes, you know okay, yeah. and they, you're you're not doing anything about it yet. That they're it's watching it. Five. Oh okay, so, and then they put a stunt in. Whatever. Okay. Um, Somewhere in the <laughs> yeah. I think the, the, the sensor they had was in that sort of area. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Whew. Okay, hold on. Change the pictures a little bit. Okay, relax, relax. Any discomfort here? So, yeah, there is some pain. There, there is yeah. some pain there. Okay. UB? Um, small intestine 11. Because now I'm looking at cardiac options. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. How is this now? In the the pain, you mean? The back. Less pain. How much less? Uh, virtually not noticeable. Okay, good. So, so it, it, it's, um, okay. When I press, you remember this was squishy mm -hmm. yeah. and squishy. Boom. How is squishy and how is squishy? Um, a bit less so, but it's a bit less so. Okay, no, no, okay. Right. Yeah, with squishy, it's a little hard to say, like, how, how, you know, hard to tell how squishy it is. Okay. One, two, three. Anything? Slight pain on two and three, or slight okay. feeling. Two or three. Okay. And how about this side? One, two, three. Nothing. Four. Sorry. Okay. Nothing. That's okay. And then the back cervicals. Two, three, four. No problem. And one, two, three. Four. A little bit of pain on three and a bit more on three. four. Three and four. Yeah. Okay. How about under the occiput? One, two, three, four? Four, definitely something. Four. Okay. Because insomnia should reflect on, on an mien. One, two, three, four. Slight on four. Slight on four and slight on four. Okay. So. What were you pressing on the Rent four because uh, it, cardiac, okay. and he doesn't have slow pulse. I can totally use also. Okay, any discomfort here? No. Cardiac four. Okay. 
So let's try, sorry, pericardium 8, no, pericardium 4. How is this guy here now? Nothing particularly, I don't think. Okay, wait, a minute. okay. There was something here, right? Yes. Okay, when I press here, I just want to make sure that that's affecting it. Did it affect it or not? Yes, less, I would say. Less, okay, good. Now, no pain here, pericardium 8? No. Okay. And you have something here, right? Yeah. Okay. How's now? Gone. Gone. Okay. Do you remember, well, you didn't feel it, so you may not know, but there was something that's different between the two sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can tell now, right? I, I can't tell. You can't tell. Okay. No. Let me put, let me try this. Do you f feel the, this pinching on the left? Yes. Pinching on the right? Yes. Can you tell the difference or not? Between left and right. Yeah. Yes. Do they yeah. feel different. No, sorry, I can tell when you're on the left. Oh no. You're on the right. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> no, but you can't tell there any difference. No, I can't. That's fair. No. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. Okay. So I have to I have to check it myself. There's, in other words, okay. So maybe a little softer. Yeah, that, yeah I, you know, I, I prefer not to do it with my own hands. You know, like, I prefer if the patient can give the feedback, but sometimes it's not possible. So, um, so liver one seems to make it softer. It, I can't, even though it feels like it should be liver excess, it's really, you know, what, look at this. See my fingers going in? Mm. And see here, I, I can't get in. It's really tight. I would expect this to be a liver excess just because of the amount of tightness there is. But since in, he's, saying, he, he's, he's saying nothing, so liver excess really should, should be a little bit more um, participation on his part. I mean, he should be feeling a liver excess. So um, the other thing is liver one is a good point for cardiac, okay, because liver is mother of fire, okay? Uh, okay, and the pericardium 4 resolved the Anmian reflex. I'm going to suspect that he has low blood pressure, but we'll relax. Did you say the pulse was slow? No, he was, he's not a, he is, he's totally normal. Hmm? You used to be 40? Usually no. under 40, at rest. Okay, well, it certainly isn't 40. It's oh, tick, not now, no. tick, <laughs> tick, he's afraid of me. You said you were going to see if it was um, so low blood pressure. No, low blood pressure. Because, um, because of kind of pulse, I'm suspecting, but I cannot do uh, spleen 9 too close to the knee operation. Okay, so... You did say he had a slow pulse. I don't think he's slow pulse. Oh, you don't? No, no. He's yeah. right. you did, you did, I did, at the beginning? Pulse was slow. No, they have a similar, no, no, no. They have a similar quality pulse. Okay, she's very, very clearly slow. And no, his is normal rate. Okay, but the quality, that, that tight, um, in other words, if they were a little, if the pulse was a little weaker, I would have totally said autonomic nervous system. But they both have a little bit of poundingness that's not typical of autonomic nervous system. But it could be because, you know, he's a side, you know, they both push their bodies a lot, and that, may sh that can show on the pulse too, okay? So, um, how, oops, how squishy and squishy? Could you do it again? Yeah, squishy and squishy. Second one's possibly a little bit squishy. A little bit squishy still. Okay. I'm not How, sensitive. That, yeah, person, no, no, but. it's okay. How is now? Um, I can't tell. Okay, no, no, no clear clarity of about change. Okay, relax. Relax. Okay. There's some there was something here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
gone. Okay. So I'm just verifying a way for me to verify spleen 6. Uh, so I'm looking at low blood pressure treatment, spleen 6, spleen 9, of which I'm omitting spleen 9, and I already have pericardium 4. Okay. We were going to do rent. Okay. So, did you say th this last one? Yes. Okay. When I poke on the belly, how's this last one? Gone. Gone. All right. So rent four for cardiac. Oops. Okay. Are you comfortable? Yes, thank you. All right. And I will do under the th under third toe. <coughs> and you know, this is a situation where there's a possibility that under the third toe is kind of totally wrong situation because it's hard to know how things are really, you know, we're thinking, uh, you know, yes, I can find it, you know, on the skin, but it doesn't mean that it's the real point because the real point on him could be totally shifted because of, you know, the width of the foot, you know, it, it maybe under third toe really should be somewhere else. We, we don't know, but, you know, I can only work with what I have. Relax totally. That's because you're assuming he's got bad I'm assuming, but also he, he, autonomic nervous system. It, it's a good, it, you know, he's because of the sleeping. Okay, worry type usually show on rent fifteen. Okay, and we use spleen three and pericardium. Okay. Um, pericardium uh, no, we check pericardium eight, and according, you know, so it's spleen three plus pericardium, meaning. You know, figure out which pericardium point you, you, you want to use. The problem is, um, with sp for me, with spleen 3, is that his, you know, his pulse is a little bit too strong. Okay? Um, and and he, the symptoms that he has could be considered chest symptoms. You know, because of sleeping. You know, it's not physically in the chest, but we kind of consider it to be, you know, in, in the heart. So I would rather not, you know, I, you know, first stream, and I'd rather avoid spleen three. Because, and also, he doesn't really show um, REN15. Okay, so I could say I'm going to assume you have REN15 because you are the planning type. Okay. And you know, therefore, do spleen three. But I did, you know, I did spleen six instead, sort of, sort of thing. Okay, so that's kind of my line of thinking: is that maybe he's not exactly low blood pressure. I believe he probably is, you know. Um, and then, so I'm doing spleen. The, my representation for the spleen and the blood pressure is spleen six. <laughs> Tim's hiding it. <laughs> I did used to faint a lot, and have dizzy spells when I was younger. You used to have dizzy spells. Yes. Okay, so there's a chance, but you know, it's hard to know because also with epilepsy, they could have been some sort of yes. something that were, you know, so it's, it's hard for us to know. All right, let's do one more for the autonomic. So we'll do Sanjao 8 and we'll find some reflex for it. <laughs> so relax totally. Okay. Uh, okay, you're good. Now we may actually end up with Sanjao 5. The reason why is because Sanjao 5 and Ren 4 share a character in the name. Okay, anything? One, two, three. They're all about the same. Uh, well, anything that's a teeny bit uncomfortable or something? Uh, it was slightly, they were all slightly, they were slightly uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Okay. Okay. How is now? Two, three. Less, definitely. Okay, and compare for me against this one. One, two, three. Which one do you? I would say the second one is better. The second one's yeah. better, okay. Five. Yeah, it's, no, Sancho 8 is better because he, he doesn't really have, he does not have a rapid pulse, that's for sure. But I just thought maybe Sancho 5 would do a better job for him because he, we have Ren 4 and Ren 4 and Sancho 5. One is Guan Yuan 
and one is y guan. Okay. And relax totally. All right. And anything one, two, three. Three is slightly. Three off. is slightly. Okay. And how's now? Gone. Gone. All right. Are you comfortable temperature wise? Yes, thank you. All right. So we'll see you in a little bit. Did you do P4 as well? Yes, I did. Yeah. So he has, he has representation of low blood pressure is under third toe, spleen six, no spleen nine, and pericardium four. Rent four for cardiac. He showed small intestine 11 on the left. And Sanjao eight for autonomic nervous system. When we do the back, we'll check his UB17 line carefully and we'll see what what more can be you know what 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 else there is so any discomfort yes okay which ones right um one two three four i'm on the do two yeah here yes okay how about to the side of it or to the side of it um the second one but the one in the middle was more so okay so this one and this one but this is less uh, no, the, 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 okay. the, the, what, this one Re relax your head. Is, the one you are now first. This, okay, this is the big one, relatively. Sorry, do, do it again. Do okay, it okay. Center, yes. left, and right. Left. Okay. The big one. Left is the big one, and some in the center. Okay. But the sciatica is on this side. Okay. I've got L5 and to the side of it, yes. Okay. And by the way, anything here? Yeah. Okay, first which one, the first one. Yeah. Okay, and how about this side? One, two, second one. three. Uh, second one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so boom, boom. Okay, so and here we have this and this. Correct. Hold on, I may have gotten it wrong. No. no, can't produce it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what we want. This one? Yeah. Okay. That's on the second one. I'm kind of surprised. Oh. I, I'm pretty sure I do. Okay. How's now? The center? Yes, that feels a bit less. Yeah. How much is a bit less? Um, maybe about half. Now? Yeah, that's a lot less. A lot less. Okay. And you had number two here. Yeah. How's, is that any change? No. No, okay, that's okay. And... Sacroiliac. Okay, for alpha. Now, I probably should not be doing sacroiliac on this side because it may be too close to the sciatica. So, my representation for that will be gallbladder 34. Okay. Anything left here? No. And center? No. No. Okay, just checking. All right. So. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that's it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So since I'm kind of trying to complete sacroiliac but can't. How? Sorry? That is, is that the same point? This one, yes. Yeah, well, that's massively reduced. Massively yeah. reduced. Okay. GB34, Be, as a rep you know, really I would have wanted to say Kroiliak, but I accept that I can't. Whoops, sorry. GB, what were you testing GB34 again? Uh, this, the actual sciatica, the piriformis. Wait, wait, you were back there. Yeah, because I'm thinking if I release the sacroiliac, the per this gets released. Okay. Now, anything left here? Yes. Okay, so now let's go take, oh, wow, you have, okay. Do you ever use a foam roller on, on yeah. the, okay, fine. Okay, so gallbladder 31, two fingers behind, two fingers above. How are we doing? Uh, yeah, that's a lot less than it was again. That's down to about maybe a quarter of what it was. Okay. Got a name, so just it's, uh, you can call it, uh, we call it Hukaya Gallbladder 31. Hukaya is a, a Mark Sebastianist in Japan. 
How are we doing? Yeah, that's about this. Okay, so. You still have this guy and this guy, yeah. correct? Okay. Talking about this guy. How's now? It's, it's about a third of what it was. Let me see if I can get a little bit better. Now? A lot less. A yeah. lot less, okay. And sorry, what point is that? Uh, small intestine nine ten to release the you know um, the the lung uh, reflexes and here right? Yeah, that it's less than it was though. How about is it no? Okay, this one. Okay, yeah. it's good that it feels less than it was. <laughs> and how about now? Yeah, that's that's almost nothing. Okay, good. This one's okay. Yeah. Or still okay. And how are you doing now? Um, that is just like, it's like it's almost gone. Almost gone. Let me check yeah. in different places. Oh, oh, oh here. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. so she's almost like more UB36. She's a little above UB36, but it's almost the attachment of, of the hamstrings. So, okay, we have a few options for that. But before we do that, let me just, because of asthma, How's now? Yeah, I can still feel it. No, no change? No. Okay, that's okay. Okay, it's a bit less. A bit less, okay. Oh. Let me try and release the hamstring. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, I'm not feeling any difference. Really. Yeah, okay, yeah, just, yeah. just tell me. <laughs> so let's go to UB20. So sugar points didn't do it, but... How about this? Yeah, that's a lot less. A lot less. Yeah. Oh, okay. UB20. Okay. So basically, because the ha the hamstring is the, if it's not the biggest muscle, it's one of the biggest muscles in the body, which means it's highly susceptible to sugar. Okay. So I'm trying. Do, do you see how? tight her hamstring is. I, I know she was running. I, I get it. But, you know, and the tensor fascia, the tensor fasciolata is really, really tight. And because her, the main place for her sciatica is really just above UB36, I'm thinking it has to do with the insertion of the hamstring, that the sciatica is really not coming so much from the glutes or from L5, even though I did the, my best I could clear that in the piriformis, etc., that it's really more to do with the use of the hamstring. So, how are we doing here? Oh, that's good. Well, I could feel it there. This one? Yeah. Okay. So remember yesterday I told you I have three points for releasing you know, that are in the hamstring that affect the back. One of them is take UB36 and go a little bit below. How's now? Yeah, it's less. Okay, how much is left? Um, probably about 40%. 40%. Yeah. The other one is to come down to um, just above gallbladder, you know, to the ligaments above gallbladder 33. I think that's about the same. Okay, meaning 40%? 40, 40 yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the last one is the other. At oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. How's now? Yeah, it's a lot less. Okay. Yeah. Um, just below UB39, it's the attachment of the hamstring. Okay, I'm basically trying to affect the hamstring on her. So as yesterday, I think you used bladder 20 to release the quad, but it can also affect the hamstring. The just... bladder 20, it, the, they're connected. The, I'm testing the bladder 20 against the quad, seeing if I can stretch it. But if, okay, if this is tight, Okay, no matter what happens in a quad, when, I, when you bend the knee, I'll do it on the other side. Okay, if I'm bending the knee, on the one hand it stretches the quad, on the other hand the hamstring has to have the capacity to contract here. So if the hamstring is tight, it ain't going to want to contract any further. It's just going to hold itself, you know. So bladder 20 releases both. Does, does that make sense? Right. 
So you think you've and got the 20 bilateral? Yeah, might as well, because, you know, she, when she runs, I mean, it's almost like, as Kawhi would call it, it's prevention. Because, you know, she has the sciatica on the right side. One day, she, you know, she, she's going to keep running and her, the usage of her hamstring, she may have a pelvic shift that makes the hamstring on the right side get more pulled, get more torque that way, gallbladder 34. But at some point, she could just as easily do it on the left side. So let, let, let's try and relax those, those poor hamstrings of yours. <laughs> so, and just for the asthma, I'll do do 14 Watto. Sorry, are you okay? Uh, for this one, yeah, on the bladder, inner bladder channel, I tend to go, go downwards. Yes, absolutely. When you treated the front, you used a spleen four. Uh huh. For the asthma, could you have tried three and see if it? still work because then three would have released the muscles from the front or do you not? Do you remember she has a pounding pulse? Uh -huh. She has a chest symptom? So, yeah, she I'm is thinking. definitely not a spleen three person for That's me. The, yeah. So ask me you consider part of the main... Mm? Ask me yes, you. also... What's the Watt of do 14 called? Ding Chuan. Ding Chuan. Asthma. Okay. Asthma <laughs> point. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about it. You have asthma. And <coughs> you know that you. You know this gets caught up. Not just the scalenes. You 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 get like a little hump. You know a lot of asthmatics will have, you know, a little hump around do fourteen. You're straining that area, very strongly. All right. Generally, Alvi, you completely avoid treating the knee thing if there's pain there. Like you, 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 you wouldn't do the, sec the other sacral Yeah, yeah, because, well, because, it, well, I thought it might be a little bit too close, that's all. Um, and as it turns out, it wasn't really that close, but, you know, I, I, I prefer, you know, especially first time, not to get too close, you know, Second, third time, you know what, once I, I, I kind of know that the, you know, I know the patient's going to come back if there's a problem or whatever, I don't want to create problems for them. You know, and there's a possibility, then I just don't bother, you know, I, I just don't allow myself to. And your moxerine? Um, uh, UB13 area, J just because of asthma, that, that's all. Just to kind of reinforce. Um, are you the next person? Uh, I think so. Okay, I, I'm just asking. Okay, we will we will start you around. You're at eleven, right? Yes. Okay, okay. Just want to make sure that I'm not like totally late. <laughs> you may feel like little mosquito bites. Yeah. Okay. Let me know if it's too too strong. You can totally ask me. It's not whatever. The uh, first hamstring point, Abby. The first one is about two fingers below 36. The next one is at the insert, the above the knee at the insertion, or, or rather where the tendon starts. And the last one is this one where. Now, do you notice how all the needles want to do this with her? I inserted this 90 degrees, I inserted gallbladder 34, 90 degrees. Um, it's people, um, sometimes, some people have very strong, um, it, well, right now we know her, her body is very acidic. You know, but people who, yeah, because of the running, I mean, she's had all this lactic acid going on, you know, it's like, you know, th there's, there's a hypertonicity. Some people like that, it's hard to get uh, a needle in. Uh, and some people, it's not because they're runners, it's because of their diet. And that kind of person, you just say, by the way, maybe you should eat a little, you know, a little more dark leafy greens, a little less meat, right. you know. Um, because, you know, it's like with her, after a marathon, it, 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 I don't know what, you know, we can't say what it means, but 
um, because the body is just, it's so tight, it's pushing, you know, it's not letting the needles, you know, just, just flop around. So this one's enough because it's, well, they're both kind of pinkyish now. Sorry, too much? Can I ask when you treat patients, do you always establish the points the way you do with me before you yes. get the needles in? Yeah. I always check every point. But I've never had that before. I've always just had ping, <laughs> ping, 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 there you go. Well, I can, I know, I know an acupuncturist in London <laughs> that will do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I know, what you, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, this style is all about testing. Yes. That's the whole deal here. All right. Are you comfortable? Yes, I am. All right.